Hey, good morning guys. It is another nice day here in New York City. I'm making this video just solely to share an experience with you of my encounter with a legendary perfect Raikou. And then afterwards, I'm going to tell you guys how I caught another 100 IV literally right outside of Central Park. So basically I was, you're gonna see the gameplay as I'm explaining this to you. So first you're gonna see the gym that I was at, which was a mystic gym. Uh, you're gonna see a little bit of the game battle. It went really quick. Uh, I was actually there like about 20 minutes, actually 30 minutes prior to the battle. Uh, there was a raid not too far from there. It was a 1904 Raikou and he ran on me after almost like 10 Pokeballs. Uh, so then I have like, okay, let me go to 34th Street, I walk over there, and then I see this gym, it was Valor. I saw people battling it, I wasn't sure who was battling, so I joined in the battle, started like defeating the gym. So sure enough, eventually it goes down within like five minutes left, uh, before the raid starts, and it's Mystic. So then at that point, it was pretty much not enough time to even take that down, but I did see people battling it. So it was a Mystic gym, and I usually don't like to do battles outside of uh, my team color because you don't get enough pokeballs you know and with legendary pokemon they're very unpredictable very hard to catch and you know you want you want the most pokeballs you can get so this battle went by really quick so we get in and i noticed that he's 1913 i mean i, I literally like just glance at the cp you know as it's kind of like uh getting like defeated or whatever and those little purple dots pop up and I see he's 1913 and I get the max rewards. I get all the, uh, the, the potions, I get the rare candy, I get the berries and I get a, a TM. So I was like, man, this is, this is amazing. I mean, this, this, like, this is awesome. So now here I am head to head with this legendary and I am instantly reminded of the time I caught my first Moltres, okay? Now, I was like, I'm not sure if I was, like, I wasn't sure if I was going to catch this guy or if he was going to run. Uh, but I knew I had enough Pokeballs to at least try. And if he ran, I was like, yo, at least I saw the guy, you know? Like, you do all these raids and you never see these perfect guys. So I was like, okay, if, if I catch him, yo, that's awesome. If he runs, you know, well, that's it, you know, what, what can I do? So anyway, we get in. So I'm, I start throwing the Pokeballs. I land the first few, but then it like, it literally goes south. I mean, I don't know. It's like, I felt like I was like a beginner again. I kept like missing the throws, like he would jump on me. Uh, then I missed the second one. It, like literally, like he charged and then he jumped again. Uh, then I missed the third one. So at this point I'm like, okay, what? Yo, let's slow down. Like, what the heck is going on here? How many Pokeballs am I gonna miss? So I, I was doing all gold berries and I wasn't really landing excellence. I wasn't really landing great. Um, I was like, yo, if I'm gonna catch them, I'm gonna have to either get lucky or it's just, it's for me to catch them. So I get to the last Pokeball uh, I think it was on the third one. I was like, okay, at this point, I got two more left. I don't know what to do. So I just put in a gold berry. I zero in on him. I increase the accuracy. I just throw it. I'm like, what am I going to get? So I got a nice. I was like, okay, fine. It's a nice. And I land him. I land him. I catch the Raikou. I catch him. I was like, oh my God. I was like, Yo, I just caught this Raikou just like I caught my first Moltres. When I caught my first Moltres, it took me seven tries to actually get my Moltres. And the first few times I kept rushing it with the Moltres. You can't, you know, like it's impossible to rush with that bird. And what I realized to do is you had to wait him out because he was like a fire Pokemon. And with, I don't know, it was like weird, but with this Raikou, I realized, you know, this is like, this is a dog, you know, this is a dog that kind of wants to play. Like this may sound a little weird. So I realized to give different berries and then just have fun, you know, just enjoy it. And sure enough, that, that that's what it was. 
So now we go to the second hundred IV Pokemon. So I'm at the Bryan Park where we're just, you know, just getting Stardust, we're catching Pokemon, a lot of good stuff out there. And I'm playing with my buddy Keith. So we start making rounds around Bryan Park uh, just to get eggs and, you know, Pokeballs and stuff. So as we're walking up to the library, somebody runs up to us, like literally, like crashes into Keith and is like, yo, 100 IV Abra, 100 IV Abra, 72nd Upper West Side, 72nd Upper West Side. We're like, okay, 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 okay. People, like, they start scattering, just like, okay, cab it, cab it, we're gonna take a cab. So we go across the street, everybody starts, you know, like hailing a cab. Cabs don't come. I was like, yo, Keith, let's take the train. It's like, it's not too far from here. We're on 42nd Street. So he's like, that's right. Like, we could take the one or the two and it goes express there to 72nd Street. So we get up, uh, we go towards the train station. We literally, we run. Like, this, this is like literally launch week again. So we run for this Abra. So we get to the train station, we, we ran the whole way, the two streets to Times Square Station we ran. Uh, we get on the two, the two is express, and it was perfect, it was right there, it didn't leave yet, we hopped right in, we're like, yes, yes, yes. So from 42nd to 72nd, that train went express. That train went express.